What's up YouTube, it's your boy Stance here and welcome back to a brand new Pixelmon video here on the channel. We are back with the brand new update Pixelmon 8.3 just released over the weekend and we are a little late to the party of showcasing what came in with this update but we're going to do so nonetheless. We have a bunch of special texture Pokemon to look at, we have a new feature and then uh, we have new uh, small additions here and there of course. Plenty of bug fixes, you can catch all that in the description down below where we have the change log. Uh, you guys can click the link and check that out, all that good stuff. But if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to be a part of the Legion today. Turn on those notifications so you guys never miss a video. And let's get started with today's video. Okay, so I'm going to start off today's video by showcasing a brand new feature to Pixamon. Dynamax has finally made its way to Pixamon Generations. However, uh, it's still a work in progress. Uh, it is available. You do have to do a command to get the Dynamax Band. All you have to do is just forward slash Dynamax Band. Um, once you have that available, you should have your Pokemon, uh, available to Dynamax. We're going to try to showcase that here today. We have a Charizard with us and this Charizard has four different moves because the new, uh, max moves have been implemented into the game. So like max air strain, max overgrow, uh, max wildfire, whatever the case may be. I think actually I think that's the G max or Charizard, but we have a Darumaka right here. We're going to throw our Charizard out into it. We're going to click fight. We're going to click the Dynamax button. And once we click that Dynamax button, the moves have shifted over. We have Max Overgrowth, Worm Fire, uh, Worm Wind, Max Flare, Max Air Strike. We have all the moves. We have all the Max moves. So the new Max moves have been implemented. If you guys are have any idea what this means, uh, this is the new feature from Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Pokemon game that is currently on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, and then these moves are they do a ton of damage, and they uh, have like secondary effects so for example max overgrowth drops out grassy terrain max flares makes it sunny day uh worm wind does something secondary effect like drop a special defense or something like that airstream boost your speed things like that so we're gonna go ahead and use max flare for an example you can shift to take a look at it so uh it, the user intensif intensifies the sun for five turns we're gonna do max flare and the particle from the looks of it looks very similar to uh a mega evolution particle but in this case it really just makes the pokemon big and the max flare comes down and then uh it's not very effective we knocked it out so we don't really get the uh the effect of the hp or the the sun coming into play but that's pretty much what it is i don't know if i i don't think i can dynamax outside of battle you normally can't so uh there's that to know i'm gonna try to get a better angle of the dynamax when it comes to it okay this this should work really well so fight Dynamax and then Max Overgrow. I want to see how big this Charizard gets. Can it get like okay? We know the size of it already. How big is it gonna get? Uh, I didn't really change it. Oh, it did. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Uh oh, that's insane. That is huge, bro. Look at. I was like, I was about to complain. I was like, did it didn't change it at all? It legitimately didn't change at all. And then the Max Overgrow again. And then it goes back to normal. Okay, so yeah, it legitimately grew in like a, a lot, by a lot, by a lot. So we do have that to uh, uh, to, to our advantage now. We can Dynamax in Pixelmon Generations. I, I, I know, I know that uh, one of the best features that you guys like to take a look at is the special texture feature of Pokemon. So uh, we're gonna go through all of them, uh, and they all they all pretty much showcase something specific. But for the most part, they all look sick. So we have uh, Ammonite, Amastar, these are their Halloween textures. We have uh, Drifloom and Drift Blim. they are based off of lanterns, like Japanese lanterns, which are pretty cool. We have uh, Larvitar, Pupitar, and Tyranitar, which is scales. And uh, if you look at the Pupitar, it kind of has like lightning on it, which is a pretty cool feature. Uh, yo, this is Godzilla, that's what it is. We have Chansey with the Nurse Joy hat, that is a new special texture. We have a Ditto with the top hat, look at that cute little guy. We have Eevee with the bow. We have uh, Golduck with a Sailor's hat. We have uh, Growlithe uh, with the Officer Jenny hat. And then we have, uh, of course, our Leafeon with a flower on it, which is pretty cool. So these are uh, some of the first ones to get added. The next ones to get added uh, are going to be all Chinese New Year theme. So we have uh, Mud's Bray, Mud's Dale. We have Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray. We have Dunsparce, which is Dunsparce is probably one of my favorites. We have Deerling, no sauce buck, just Deerling. We have Bunnelby and Diggersby, looking good, looking good. 
bag on shelled on and salamence and then one thing that i can show you guys is with salamence uh if we went ahead into the mega form it'll have it as well it'll have it as well it looks clean it looks really clean so uh brand new salamence brand new special texture for salamence in the game now looks good oh look underneath it is, is this the year of the dragon right it should be i know it just passed uh but we do have valentine's day a bunch of special textures for valentine's day we have uh, Aegislash. slash this is both of the forms on the shield that says i love you with a heart and a rose we have uh amungus and fungus which have the hearts on it these are the love balls uh the apricorn specific balls we have beware and stuffle which are teddy bears which is amazing to be honest we have blastoise which is pink and it's on its shell it has a bunch of hearts which is pretty cool uh, of course, that includes Squirtle and War Tor as well. Same theme, hearts on the back on the shelf. Then we have Torterra, which uh, has like uh, it's used like a cherry blossom style tree on its back, which is pretty cool. And of course, Grottle and Turtwig kind of share the theme of that going on, which is you know all Valentine's Day, which is cool. We have Cartana with a bunch of hearts on it, which looks pretty cool. Uh, honestly, this one's pretty clean. I like it. I like it because of all the hearts. Then we have Love This. We actually have two special textures of Love This. One is like a, a present, right? As you guys can see. And then the other one is like a heart, like a heart candy. Like, you ever have those heart lollipops? Like, like that. And then the last ones are, are crabby, but we have something special for, uh, we, we, we have something special for, for crabbies though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have something special for crabbies. We have something special for crabbies. I, I think every time I see a, a crabby special texture get added, I'm gonna do this. Like, <laughs> Deltric, stop. <laughs> okay, so the, these are uh, the the uh, final special textures that we're gonna be taking a look at here today. It is the Gardevoir slash Gallade family. All four of them have it. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is a special texture. I think it says Chong Sam. I, I don't mean any disrespect by it, but that that's what it is, and I don't I don't mean to disrespect. I really don't. Uh, but these are the new special textures with that, which is pretty cool. I, I like these. Uh, Gardevoir is pretty cool. Um, Gallade actually looks pretty cool too. Like they, they, they match pretty well. So a few things that I, I, I feel like I need to cover just so you guys get an understanding of what else got added in this uh, update. They added the critical capture. If you guys have any idea uh, what this is, it's a feature from the normal Pokemon games. When you go to throw a Pokeball, sometimes you get lucky and you catch it on the first shake. That's a critical capture. Now, uh, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, they added something called a Capture Charm, or a Critical Catch Charm, which basically means that it's boosted, because it's not always going to happen for you, but with that charm, it's going to help you increase those odds by a ton. So that's been added in. Uh, there's no real way to get it in except for config files. Think of very similar to, like, uh, Shiny Hunting and things like that. I, I, I think of it like the, the Catch Combo. Like, you can adjust it based on the server that you play on. So that's something to take a look at for the future. Uh, another thing that they added in is uh, Pokestops. So they added Pokestops to their uh, villages in the game. So if you find a village, uh, a brand new village, you know, this is a previous save file for me, so you're not going to see it from me. Uh, but you have a chance of finding a Pokestop, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, with the uh, addition of Dynamax, we also, uh, I say we as if I'm a part of the team, but what they did is they actually added the effects of certain moves that affect Dynamax Pokemon. So that'll be things like uh, Dynamax Cannon, Behemoth Bash, and Behemoth Blade. If you are any familiar with these, these are the signature moves of Eternatus, Zashin, and Zamazenta, which pretty much do more damage if you're battling against a Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, but which is pretty cool. And then like I mentioned earlier, all the Dynamax moves, not the Gigantamax ones, but all the Dynamax moves have been added in. So like Max Rockfall, uh, Max Steel Spike, everything you can think of, all the normal ones have been added in for the time being. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy and found this helpful, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications so you guys never miss a video. I'm actually kind of excited because uh, Dynamax has gotten added in. I'm, I can't wait for them to add like Dynamax raids if they ever decide to do that. Uh, the Gigantamax Pokemon coming soon. But it's a pretty cool feature. I like it a lot. Uh, so hopefully you guys have fun with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Good luck on playing the game. Have some fun with it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.